Today on Toy Shoes, don't feed it mall chili fries after midnight. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another retro shiz look back at the past. And today we're heading all the way back, 1998, for the X Men Power Slammers Master Mold by Toy Biz. Secret Weapon Force, of course. This was the X Men line at the time. I love the old card artwork for all the old Toy Biz figures. They just got better as time went on. You can screen grab this if you want to read about Master Mold. And of course, that super evil deadly force that Spider-Man has to tangle with as well. And the sneak attack line. You get to see all the really cool artwork that lays out exactly what Master Mold does. The cross cells with Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue, and of course Master Mold. And if for some reason if you're stuck in 1998 and you want to find this figure in stores, here's the barcode as well. Now, Master Mold, he was on X-Men the Animated Series. Several iterations of him, right? He's always the robot who wants to make more Sentinels and take over. At one point, he got really, really big and then Professor X crashed the X-Jet in him. However, if you were wondering, yes, at one point, Master Mold was just a severed head with some cool spider-like appendages. So this figure does make sense in terms of X-Men the Animated Series. It's not like spot on, but hey, it's better than what most of the time what we got for old toys back in the 80s and 90s, right? So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot retro cup of coffee. This is a look at the 1998 Toy Biz X-Men Power Slammers under <laughs> the Secret Weapon Force line, the Master Mold. And of course, here is Master Mold all out of the packaging. Nice and shiny and brand new and has all his little teeny tiny sentinels and all his big mamma jamma spider legs, which you know what, let's go ahead, speed this up and put this guy together. He's actually really, really Easy to assemble, all the legs go in, doesn't matter where you put them, but yeah, it's really putting the sentinels in his mouth, I think that's probably the hardest part, but there's really no hard part, but that is a very cool looking master mold, and he's got articulation for days, well, he's got little arms, he's got some spider legs, but the paint on this guy is really cool, and yeah, he is just missing a body, basically, you can take the legs off and just use them as a head, but all the legs have a certain amount of articulation in the sense of they will just spin. So you can get all his little Robo Nikes lined up every which way you want to go. But I really like the purples and the blues and the yellows. It all works together nicely to create a really nice looking master mold. And I really like the articulation. The amount that is on just the gun weapons, the fact that they even included that. So technically he has like little tiny Robo arms and you can... Put them going in one way, going back the other way, and flip them around and curl them up. So nice articulation and nice posing that you can get out of him. And on this side, it's like a little tiny claw. So basically it's like a hand and you can grab on your enemies or hold a sentinel or two. It just really leaves it open for some nice play features. But the face opens up and of course that's where you're going to load up all six of your sentinels and if you kind of turn them around right here you see the top of his head it's like a spring loaded sort of deal and you just push it and it spits out a sentinel and that is really cool he's very paper thin plastic painted on both sides for just a sentinel but you can see that yeah when you kind of pose them next to each other it's a sentinel factory now if you have the old toy biz figures i would say he goes nicely with them you have gene gray and Magneto here. So in terms of scaling wise, yeah, could have been a lot bigger in the head, but it looks cool, especially with Morph. If you wanted to go more animated series, he lines up really cool with him. Real drug addict looking Morph. He'll go good with the Master Mold figure, just saying. But while you're all here, let's go ahead and show you exactly what this figure is meant to do. So I loaded up all the Sentinels. I'm going to bang them on top of the head here in one, two, three, and boom. <laughs> These things never work when you show them. So we'll go, yeah, no. It's <laughs> we'll just get all up close. Just start shooting them random. There we go. Thank God for that instability of the old Toy Biz figures, right? And we'll just kick Beast right in the face. <laughs> that is very cool. It's a nice, big, spidery, master mold guy. And I like the shock absorbers on this guy. It almost makes me think you could push him down and he'd kind of jump up like a spider, you know what I mean? But no, no dice. It just helps 
when you bash him on the head, hence the name, right? So nice mobility, nice little play feature right there. And for all you Marvel Legend fans, if you're wondering, I would say yes and no for in terms of scale wise, but hey, that new Sentinel's on his way. Maybe he'll look good atop the old body there, but in either case, it's a very cool looking old school Toy Biz Sentinel figure. So that's gonna wrap it up for my Retro Shiz look back at the past featuring this 1998 Secret Weapon Force Power Slammers Master Mold under the Toy Biz X-Men line. A lot of fun with this figure. A lot of just personality to this toy. A really cool gimmick to him. He spits and fires Sentinels. That's really rad. All the Sentinels look great. You get a lot of them in the sense of projectiles. So it's nice. The legs all attached. The paint is gorgeous on this guy. He's a very cool standout figure if you were to get him or if you already have him, of course, for your shelf. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Do you have him? Do you need to get him? Did you pick him up way, way back in the day like I should have done, right? Shame on me. Anyways, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember this secret Weapon Force badge that they keep talking about? Yeah. This is a sticker, just FYI. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.